My name is Edward Belitsky. Um, I'm originally from Hamilton, Ontario. My background is um, I'm a person with a mental illness called borderline personality disorder with bipolarism. I'm also a recovering alcoholic. For me, I've been dealing with mental illness for a very long time. My parents died at 19, my mom died when I was three, my dad died when I was 19, I have no brothers or sisters. I come from a very poor family. Since the death of my parents, I have, uh, I've had like 15 hospitalizations in the psychiatric ward. Um, some have been under the influence of cocaine and alcohol, uh, but, and some have not. Um, so I got involved with Fred Victor because I was a client at Rouge Valley Centenary Hospital and a psychiatrist there um, told me that I should get a social worker. So I applied to Access Point and got a social worker. I had to wait about 16 months to get a social worker, then I found Helen. And that's when my life started to change in slow progressions. My name's Helen. I work at Fred Victor uh, Case Management Services. Yeah, where we first met um, at was at his you know, rock bottom and um, try the best to encourage him and um, set up achievable goals together and uh, just um, just daydream together. I love to daydream with my clients. I you know to to you know imagine you know um, who they will be in uh, a year or three or even five or longer. Um, for me, it's very in inspiring and encouraging to see. My biggest challenge was my mental health and then second was the housing situation because I've lived in rooming houses my ho for a very long time and there's always drugs and alcohol in there and as a recovering alcoholic it's very difficult at times to uh, stay sober and I've been sober almost seven years now um, but I've been involved with Alcoholics Anonymous for 20 years. But I met Helen and our initial contact was basically just let's get my mental health and then go after housing. I'm the healthiest I've been in a very, very long time, and I'm doing a number of things. But Helen and Fred Victor have just been very supportive. Um, it developed from mental health and housing into education and career-wise. Right now, I have one certification for half the certification for a peer support worker. I just got into wellness recovery action planning training, RAP training, and I'm picking up the second certification for that. I have also considered after getting to know Helen and some other social workers through the city of Toronto because I'm doing, a, I'm doing an internship with the city of Toronto right now as a peer navigator at Golden Mile Employment Social Services that I may develop and go back to school um, and get a social worker degree as well. I just basically said, you know what, I want to work in recovery somehow. I don't know if it's going to be an addiction counselor, but I want to help people. I want to have, find passion and so forth and help people. And I've just found a new way of life, a, a, a new passion, a new reason to get up. I'm not perfect. I still have my struggles on certain days, but um, things are going at a much better direction in my life and a lot quicker than what I thought they would be all the tragedies and all the hardships and all the pain and all the sorrow and dark nights and stuff that I've been through in my life. Now I have found the light. I just thought that it was important for me. I think I have something to offer to an individual. Um, homelessness was hard, you know, I was, what, what can you say about homelessness? You, you hit rock bottom, right? I was at rock bottom. Um, but I met some wonderful people when I was homeless, some intelligent people. There are some really intelligent people that just have had life circumstances take them down the hill and down a different road and they ended up homeless. If I start drinking or using again, um, I'll end up in jail, dead, or the psychiatric ward. That's my pattern. You know, if there's anyone out there that if I just helped one person with my story, then that's good enough for me. And if you are struggling with mental health or addiction problems, you know, there, there is hope. It's a lot of work. It's not easy. You have to sacrifice and you have to want it. And I really want to stay sober in my life. It's the most important thing in my life right now is staying sober. 
And um, if I can do it, um, you know, I know any people that are going to be watching this can do it, and I wish them nothing but the best.